Hello, and welcome to Heidi Told Me Quilt and More. I'm Heidi, hello, and this is Anne Moore. So, I have an unboxing from Diamond Art Club. Um, these are some pre-orders, or whatever you want to call it, um, that I had ordered that have finally came in. Um, so there's nothing really new. Well, some of them are newer images, but there's nothing new in this box. I think. I don't know. I don't... I've been waiting for it to come in, so nothing too incredibly new. Um, if it is a newer one, it's because I ordered it after it had already sold out. Right. So I have four kits. I have four kits in this box. Okay. Got This one is only a small one. Let's start with that one. Or smaller one, I should say. Down. All right. Let's see what I've gotten. So I recently finished the one that I've been working on from Diamond Art Club, which was a uh, saxophone. Um, and I know that one's being discontinued, so if you wanted it and it's still available, I would probably get it. Um, you know what? Here, let me show you. I'm going to move the camera, so let me show you. There you go. There. His saxophone. I think it turned out really good. I think it looks really nice in that frame. Okay. All right. Just thought I'd show you guys that. All right. I have already started on a new one. Um, I'm doing pumpkin patch, and about halfway done with pumpkin patch. I've been working on it for like three days. Um, <laughs> not continuously, definitely not continuously, but um, I'm like halfway done with it. Pumpkin patch is around. Saxophone was a square. Saxophone took me, I think saxophone took me three months to finish. Something like that. So I needed um, something a little bit faster. Um after finishing that one, which I tend to do. I'll do I'll do a square and then I'll do a round and then I'll do a square. Sometimes I'll switch companies. Um, I do have a lot of Diamond Art Club though, so I do tend to do a lot of Diamond Art Club ones. Um, and I have multiple uh, ones uh, kitted up at, at all times. So I'm gonna go through this one the toolkit in case you've never had a diamond art club before. And so it comes with everything you need to do this diamond painting. You don't have to go out and buy anything special to do the diamond painting. Everything you need comes in the kit. So it comes with two heart shaped waxes. Heart shaped waxes. One is more than enough. You won't finish a whole um, pad of wax on one diamond painting. You got a squishy for the pen, and a basic little blue pen, and a squishy for it. Okay? It comes with a multi-placer. This is a four-placer, so if you wanted to do multi-placing. I don't do multi-placing. I do everything individual, every single one. 
um, that I've done has been individually placed. It, this one has a ton of baggies. If you are a baggie person, this one has the jackpot. It has a lot of baggies. And a clear boat with a spout. Okay? I personally like the white boats better because when I have this sitting on top of my project on the light pad, it's very hard for me to see um, which way the diamonds are facing as far as if they're up or down. Well, on the clear one, the white one makes it easier for me. That's just personal preference, though. All right, so that is what the kit looks like that comes with a round. The only difference between a round and a square, and I'll show you that when I open one of the square ones, is tweezers. You get tweezers with squares. Okay, let's take a look at what image I have here. I do have the little baby stickers, which I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do with any of those. Okay. All right. So this one goes like this. This one is Geisha by Hannah Lynn. And it actually does not have the name. Oh, there it is. Geisha. Okay. Um, this one has 39 colors in this image. And this image is not a huge image. This is actually one of the smaller ones um, from Hannah Lynn. So this one is 20 by 16, which is uh, 51 centimeters by 41 centimeters. Um, 20 by 16 is not a normal frame size, just FYI. Um, There's some yeah. Okay, sorry. There was a little rough spot, and I couldn't figure out if it was on this or if it was on my table, and there was a little crumb or something on my table. Okay. Usually I wipe down my table before I start, and I totally, totally forgot about it. Okay. So, let's measure it really quick. 20 by 16 is what it's supposed to be. So, we've got right on 20 and right on 16. So that is exactly 20 by 16. And of course it comes with the large sticker, which is what I use. I put this in my note in my notebook that has, you know what, I'll show you. Um, because I happen to have it sitting here. I got this journal book from Amazon that uh, I've been using to kind of keep track of the diamond paintings that I've done and have started and all that stuff. Um, so I've been using the stickers that come with it to put on the in the in the image space. And if I don't have an image, a sticker for an image that I've done, I have a little um, printer that prints two and a half. Um, two or two by three inch uh, pictures, like Polaroid pictures, that I take a picture of the image or I download it or whatever, and I print it out from my phone. So that is how I keep track, along with using um, Gemflow, um, right? Gemflow app. So this is what I use. I craft so hard, I sweat diamonds. Um, I've actually used the layout of this to um, what am I thinking? Um, I've used the layout of this to um, create other uh, crafting journals. Um, similar ideas for uh, like like crochet and stuff like that. Since I was talking about it and it happened to be sitting there, I figured I'd show you guys. Okay, so moving on. We've got the large sticker with the label stickers there. So this is a newer kit. Um, this isn't a new image. This has been around for a little while. I think it came out last 
um, year around Black Friday. I'm not really sure exactly when it came out. Um, but it's a newer kit because it has all the new stuff, which makes sense because I've been waiting for these kits to come in, and it was just recently reordered and restocked. Okay. So, out of this, it does have two ABs. Looks like there's a green and a blue AB. And this is round, okay? So that means this is going to work up really fast because it's round. There's a ton, a ton of black of 310. So let's see what we've got. We've got a green AB right here. So this is 135, that one right there, 135, I'm not sure if the color comes out as well as it is in person, very almost like a neon color, which I'm assuming, yeah, it's in her eyeshadow and up here, yeah. And then the other one is going to be a blue color. Let me see if I can find that one. There it is. And 137 is the medium kind of blue AB. All right. Again, there's 39 colors in this image. So that's a lot of color in such a small image. Especially since there's so much 310. So much 310. There is, I should have looked at that. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like five bags of 310. And on an image that is only this big, that's a lot of 310. If I was a multi placer, this would be multi place heaven with all that 310. All right. Let's take this and roll it up. Put her back in her box so I can move on to the next one. If you guys are enjoying this video, please give me a thumbs up. That's how other people will be suggested to see my videos. And if you've subscribed to my channel, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Then you can see any time that I post new videos. And she is all put back together now. And let's go with um first one I grab. I don't know which one it is. Um, but it's a square. I know that from the image and the coloring of the package. the difference between a round and a square. The only difference in the kit, I should say, is you get tweezers, super, super sharp tweezers, super sharp, um, with the square kit that you don't get with the round tool kit. All right. Now this one is... I used to try to keep them in their bags, but I don't even try anymore. It's <laughs> it's not worth the hassle, honestly. So this one is Abby Cat, also by Hannah Lynn. This one's got 49 colors, a ton of colors, and this is kind. Of, this is a ho not kind of. It is a Halloween image. She's dressed up as a kitty with her little Halloween bucket here. 
okay? And there are one, two, three, three ABs. It looks like there's an orangey, um, there's the same green that was in the last one, and um, another blue, okay? All right, so this is, again, Alley Cat by Hannah Lynn. And she is 18 by 25 inches, which translates to 46 centimeters by 64 centimeters. So she is 18. No, not quite 18. More like 17 and 5 eighths, maybe. And just a touch over 25, like 25 and a six. All right, so very, very close to the size that it says. Okay. And of course, it comes with your instructions and the large sticker and stickers. If you use that to pick up your stuff, this is a Hannah Lynn, so there are tons of black. All right, there's a lot of this AB. It's a lot of AB. And again, this is square. So this is number one on the chart. This is 132. It's the orange color. Aurora Borealis, maybe. There's just a handful of the green, the same green that was in the last one. That's 135. And then Looking for the blue one. Why can I not find Sorry guys, usually I'm pretty quick at finding the ABs, but apparently it is really hidden in there. Oh, there it is. So there is 138. It is a slightly lighter shade than 137, which was in the last uh, one that we looked at. All right. Now, to get this wound back up, so I can get it back into it. Sorry about all the crinkling, guys. All right. See if I can't get that back into its baggie so that I can wrap this one back up again. All right. And again, that was Alley Cat. up the next one and let's go round since 
get that two rounds in a square. So we did a round, square. This one's going to be round. And then we'll end up with a square. All right. Canvas. It's got a toolkit. Got a little thicker. And again, it's round. So let's see which image this one is. It is 22 by 27 inches and it has a B. It has two A Bs. A, looks like a pink and a yellow. Got some instructions. Here is the uh, big sticker with the stickers. There's 56 colors in this and a lot of those colors are pink and purple. So if you are a pink and purple person, this one is probably a good one for you. Okay. Um, I feel like this image is going to really pop um, once you start working on it. Okay. Look at all those pinks and purples. Browns pinks, purples. All right, so I've got a pink color AB and a yellow color AB. Oh, I forgot to measure. Okay, there's the yellow, like a baby yellow. There. And, oh, there's the pink. Those uh, showed up pretty easy for me that time. There's the pink. So those are the two ABs that come in this kit. Put this back in there, and then I'll measure it before I put it away. Again, it's 22 by 27, which is 56 by 69 centimeters. So we've got 22 by 26 and 5 eighths, just over 26 and, a, and a 3 quarters. So it's not quite, but it's very, very close to what it says. And I think, I think a lot of times when it's because it's it, the centimeters is like dead on, so whatever the closest to that centimeter is, what they're going to say the um, the inch is, because they don't put like 27 and a half inches usually, or 27.75 inches or something like that. All right, so that is time to spare. All right. We've got one more to take a look at. And this last one is a square. Isn't 
All right. Let's see what this last one is. Oh, I think it's really in there. as a bed out of his uh, cage and dragging it around. I keep telling him that if he ruins the pillow, he won't have a bed, but he doesn't seem to care. <coughs> Alrighty. One is Forest Sprite by Christine Curran. It has 56 colors in this image. Lots and lots of color, which means there's going to be a lot of detail. Instructions. Here is Sticker Forest Sprite. There we go. She is twenty by twenty six inches. Lots of blues and pinks. The color palette on this is really pretty. There are Four ABs in this. Four. So we've got an orange, a pink, the dark blue, and the white for ABs. Well, there's the white. And again, this is square. So there's the white one. Okay. We've got, this one is the orangey red color. This is 103, if you've never seen that one. I don't think I've ever seen that one. It's like a reddish orange. And I have a lot of Diamond Art Club, but I don't think I've ever seen that one. Um, mm -hmm. There's the dark blue one. Right there. That's the dark blue AB, this one. And let's see. It's on the white, the pink. Now we should have a yellow colored one, I think. Oh, there it is. That one only has a few. Nope, that's not it. Never mind. Wait. We got that. Pink, blue. Okay. No, we saw all of them. Yes? No, 128. So the actual pink. A, B. Oh, there it is. I knew there was one I was missing. The, so, like, baby pink. Baby. Oh, you can see how well you can see that. I feel like sometimes the colors get washed out. All right. So, again, this is 20 by 26. So let's measure forest spray. by 
by just shy of 26, which translates to 51 centimeters by 56 centimeters. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe saw an image that you hadn't seen before or hadn't seen in a while. Um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you subscribe, thank you for subscribing. If not, hit the subscribe button. That way you can see any time that I post a video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.